y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayna. I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. If you're into that sort of thing, click on the subscribe button down below. If you like these types of videos, give me a big thumbs up. And if you are interested in being notified every time I upload, please click on that little bell notification and YouTube will let you know. Um, so today's video is an exciting one. We are going to be comparing my love band and my Justin Clue or Justin Nail ring today. And which one I would say to get if you're going, if you're choosing between the two or if you're planning on getting one and then the other one later. So we're just going to talk all things these two rings. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let's do a bag of the day first. So y'all, uh oh, I wanted to share this too. I dropped my lipstick. Um, I'll share this first. Lip of, lippy of the day is this gorgeous pink color that I've had forever that I love pulling out in the summer. As you can see, it is almost gone. I hope they still make this color. I haven't even checked yet. I will be sad if it is discontinued because I've had this for so long. But is it, oops, it's in the color pink Novu, 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 as you can kind of see right there. Anyways, I love this color so much. I love pulling it out in the summer. It's just so summery and pretty. It kind of gives Barbie vibes, I guess, since that movie, you know, just came out. It just made me think of Barbie. But anyways, I haven't seen it yet. Comment down below and tell me what you thought about the movie. Because I kind of do want to go see it. Anyways, bag of the day is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessories bag. Y'all, I have rekindled a love for this. I've had this for so long. This is a 2000 bag. It was made in the year 2000. And I've just got my speedy bandolier strap on it. I have just the short strap. I've took the third strap out of there um, and made it super short, like a little shoulder bag. I'll stand up and show you guys how I've been wearing it. It is just super, super cute. And I have just been loving it so, so much. Um, this canvas is so thick and nice from the year of 2000. It's in such good condition. The patina on it is gorgeous. Um, this is obviously the old vintage model, so it doesn't have the pocket in there. I'll show you what I, what I have inside there. There's that. But anyways, yes, I'm going to put my lipstick back in there. I need to clean out all the lipsticks from my bags. It is... It is just embarrassing, honestly. Anyways, yes. Um, excuse me. Comment down below if you'd like to see a review on this bag. I have been just loving it for summer. It is a, it's just, it's in such an awesome bag. And it holds a lot more than you think. Even though it's like, doesn't look like it's very like wide or thick uh, that it could carry a lot. It really does because it expands. But yeah, absolutely have been loving this. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, the love band here. I absolutely love this beauty. This one, sorry, Cash is knocking my stand. Cash, I'm telling you. Anyways, <laughs> Cash, if you've not seen my Meet My, my Adopted Dog video, um, it's in my videos, but he is our mixed breed, and he now weighs over 50 pounds, and he's part... Bernie's Mountain Dog and part lab. So, whew, he's getting he's getting bigger than our house. Anyways, just kidding. Um this is my love band. And I got the wedding size, the wedding band. They have the thicker size, which is the original cl classic, I think. And then they actually have I didn't realize this until I saw it the other day on the website. They have like a thick thick band. But anyway, this is the love the wedding love wedding band and i will put a video beside of um me talking about it because i did a video of showing um this on my hand but it, actually i might not because you can see it pretty good on here actually this ring everyone talks about how bad the love collection scratches and I can see it on the bracelet, the love bracelets, but this ring, or maybe a thicker version, either I've just taken really good care of it, or it it really doesn't have a lot of scratches at all. I still think it looks beautiful. So, 
This ring is two years old, I think. So, I, oh, I'm sorry. That was actually I'm shaking the camera, y'all. Um, but yeah, I think it's beautiful. It's in really, really good condition. I wore this so much. One thing, one awesome thing about the love ring, I feel like, is the fact that it's flat, so it doesn't really get hung on anything or get caught on anything. I never hardly know that I'm wearing this ring. Like, it's just so comfortable. Um, this ring fits smaller than the Just Unclue or the Just a Nail ring. It, um, I had to, actually, no, I think I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> I went down a size in the Just Done Clue because this is made bigger than, than this than this um, Love Winning Bed. Now, this one I got so it would fit on my um, ring finger, which it is. It's kind of loose on there. And then it's a little, it goes on my finger right here, but it is a little tight. But it does fit on there. Take that off and put it back on. But yes, everyone talks about how this one shows so many scratches and this one, because of the 3D effect of it, you can't really notice the scratches. But I have more scratches on this, I feel like, on my Just Unclue than I do this Love Wedding Band. And it's because of this flat face right here. And yep, you're going to be able to see it. It is just makes me sad. <laughs> this scratch right here um, on the solid on the face there of the nail ring, of the nail head. Yeah, I don't know when that happened or how that happened, but it's there and you know what? It's okay because look, you buy these pieces of jewelry, I feel like you should wear them, enjoy them. You know, they can tell a story about you. I feel like that's what jewelry is. Um, and I'm just, I can't be bothered about worrying about scratching and messing. And I'm not going to deliberately do stuff to do that. I don't even know how this happened. I feel like I've been careful. And like I said, this ring is actually older than this one. And I, I have no idea how this happened. Unless Cash's puppy teeth, when we got him, got a hold of it somehow. But you can see, it's a pretty good scratch right here. Now, you can take this in. Excuse me. Um, you can take this in and get it polished. And when they polish it, they actually take an entire layer of the gold off of the ring. So, um, that's something to keep in mind. In fact, I'm pretty sure the sales associates advise you not to have it done a lot, you know? So I really, I thought about, I don't have a boutique near me. I thought about sending this in to kind of get that scratched buff off buffed off of the face i hope you can yeah you can definitely see it on there but i'm not going to because i just i don't want them to shave a layer of gold off of this first because it's not that old so anyways this just unclear ring i got in the Rose gold, like I said, I went down a size. I have went. I watched so many reviews that said go down a size from the love ring um, on the Justin Clue, and they were absolutely right. This fits for this fits perfectly on my pointer finger, and I absolutely love that. I love the way that looks. I also like to wear it stacked with my wedding band. So this is in the yellow gold, my love wedding band. The Just Nail ring is in the rose gold. And I like to wear it on this hand with my rose gold wedding set. But I love the way they look stacked. I wear it like that. Some the, I will say that sometimes because this ring is so much bigger on this finger than this, it kind of will overlap. I've noticed it kind of over, going over top of the love wedding band. Not a big deal, but anyways, yes. And then I like to wear it again on this finger, like side by side. At first I didn't like to because I didn't want them to like clank 
clink clank <laughs> together um but it doesn't bother anymore i like to wear this with this part of the nail face down some people i know turn it and wear it out this way either way it's good you are going to get a little bit of an indention um, on your finger when you wear this nail head ring and that's because of the 3d effect of the nail head it does press a little bit into your finger I noticed it at first, I think because I was looking for it because other people mentioned it in their videos. Now I don't even notice it. It doesn't hurt. It's not painful. I can't even tell it does it, but you will get a little bit of an impression from wearing this nail ring. So I absolutely love these pieces. They're great for every day. I should mention that the nail just a nail ring is in the small version. There's a much thicker version. I feel like it's more of like a statement piece. Um, it's gorgeous. I love it. But um, I went with the small version. I love just the, I love dainty jewelry in general. I mean, can't you tell? I've got my little dainty baby cross on today. Um, I don't, I did kind of go a little overboard with my stack today. I'll share it later. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just, I love dainty jewelry. So I went with the smaller version and the same thing for this, the love wedding band. It is the thinnest, smallest version out of the love line. And I just love that. Honestly, um, I could see getting maybe like a rose gold, one of these to wear on my wedding stack eventually i think that would be really pretty i know a lot of people buy these as their wedding band um but yeah and as you can see i don't know if you can see the inside of the there you go well, maybe a little bit what it says on the inside um it just says this is a size 59 AU750, that is 18 karat gold mark. So, yeah, absolutely love that ring. Um, this one is a super hard to see. So, hold on, what did I say? I got to get a size 50. Now I can't even see this. 59, 59 in the love wedding band. And then what did I get in this? It is so hard to see the writing on the um, Just Unclue. Let's see if I can see it, if I get it up close here. Because I can't even remember what size I got in it. It's very hard to tell. 58. So I did go down just one size. 59, 58. And like I said, the, the versatility of these rings, just being able to stack, like you can wear it by itself, you can wear it stacked, you can move it on each finger and wear it. You can, I think it's probably going to be a little bit too big for my, yeah. But I only really wear it on like this or like this. Anyways, that is like, basically, this is my everyday rings right now. This is what I wear every single day. My wedding stack and these two rings. I absolutely love it. I am finding more that I feel like simplicity is so much better than wearing a ton of jewelry. I just, I don't know. And I say that. And now let me just share what I'm wearing on this chunky, on this chunky arm party stack today. I have broken out my Tiffany um, round tag bracelet. This I can't remember when I got this. Long time ago. It's a lot older. But and I don't really wear a lot of silver anymore. And honestly, this is feeling a little bit big. I may take it to the store um, when we go to we're going on a trip to Nashville and get them to take a link out or some of this because I could honestly I moved it over now so it's not as not as long, but I've got that on. I've got my little vintage Gucci ID bracelet from Harper Vintage Design. I've mentioned her before that she 
takes like vintage hardware from old bags and belts and things. This is from an old Gucci belt and she makes jewelry out of it. I love that. This is my, one of my permanent bracelets. It is in rose gold. This is my like very Cartier inspired, um, like bolts together. This is by Stella and Dot and I go loved it because it has the mixed metals. I'm all about my mixed metals, y'all. I love to wear mixed metals. Um, this is another permanent bracelet. This is another permanent bracelet. This is my David Yurman heart charm bracelet. You can see that. I love it because it's mixed metal as well. And then I've got my Van Cleef. This is just a dupe that I got off of Etsy, but I love it. I love that color. So pretty. And then on this hand, I've got, I broke out my Pandora bracelet today. And then I've got my faux tennis bracelet over here from Amazon. So for my necklace, I've got this Roberto coin baby cross. Cash has his avocado toy. Um, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below about these two rings. I would love to answer any questions I can. Okay, sorry. He is wanting me to play with him. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Ask me any questions below you have about these two rings. I'm happy to answer them. If I were going to choose between one, I probably would choose the love band because it is so simple so simplistic. I don't even feel like I'm wearing it, but I love both of them, honestly, the same. <laughs> but if I had to choose one, I, or if I was going to get one first, I would get this one, which is what I did. I got this one first and this one second. So anyways, I hope to make another video this week and kind of double dose, uh, do a double dose video. My birthday is this week. I'm so excited. I'm turning 34 years old this week. Um, so I'm like, oh, I'm getting old, <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm excited for the, my birthday week and my parents are coming into town. We're going to do dinner and we're going to do top golf, which is so much fun. I can't wait. It's my dad's, see my dad's birthday is in August. My mom's birthday is in August. My birthday is in August. So we kind of like celebrate, um, cash. Um, we celebrate all at once. Just have one big celebration. So yes, thank you again for watching this video. Oh, I did want to share my tea with you guys. I think I got this at, I think I got this on Sheen. Um, Audrey Hebbard, Marilyn Monroe. I just think this is so cute. I love this tea so much. Anyways, thank you again for watching. I think I've said that like 50 times. Like and subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram if you don't. It's Star with Shayna over there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.